Right, Avon on YouTube, Philly Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well and keeping safe. Uh, just wanted to do a bit of a different video today. Basically, I'm, I've been watching a lot of these tier list videos where people can rank particular, um, it looks like, uh, say if you wanted to choose um, a band or artist, you could take their studio albums and place them in uh, ranking lists uh, from S down to D, uh, S being super or super, superb or something. But it's the top one it's like a star um so I'd, i wanted to i was thinking about doing one for video games which i will do eventually i'd like to do um my own tier lists for uh particular video games um especially uh you know like mortal kombat or super mario or sonic the hedgehog or something like that but today i wanted to do uh the prodigy the band uh my favorite dance act ever um uh, the band mean a lot to me when it comes to nostalgia, the first time I ever heard their music and just fallen in love and seeing them a few times live. And I knew they only had seven studio albums, which I've listened to all of them. So I thought I was in a good position to rank them. So uh, let's do this. I'm currently sharing my screen. So I'm hope hoping this is going to work. I did test it, so it should do. So I will start with their first album, Experience. I believe it was released in 1992 and it was the Prodigy's first album. It, it was based a lot on uh, rave. It was the, the big in the rave culture years uh, between, well, it was released in 92, but they were the renowned live uh, rave act. And it's a great, great, great album. It really is. I would say it would probably be my second or third favourite album by The Prodigy. We just have a look over the uh, tracks on this album, which I believe is begins with Jericho and then maybe Fire, the music reach after it. So here we've got Jericho, an incredible track that is. I love that track. The music reach is good. Wind it up, fantastic classic uh, dance track. Your Love's good. Hyperspeed's good. Now, Charlie is very special to me. The very first time I heard The Prodigy was Charlie. It was the single. Now, this version is slightly different. This is like a drum and bass version on the album, but the single version, which samples, um, I think it was some kind of safety videos from the 1970s, uh, Charlie says. Anyway, uh, we had the single. used to play it all the time when I was a kid. Um, and then after that, we've got Out of Space, of course, an absolute classic. Everybody in the Place, brilliant. Weather Experience, great song. Fire, wonderful. Rough in the Jungle Business, in the Jungle, in, in the Jungle, rough. Yeah, I love that song. And Death of the Body Dancer to finish off the album. Absolute classic album. I'm going to have to put that. Let's have a look on the tier list again. So let's pop the experience. S tier is definitely, definitely one of their greatest albums. It's it's a great foray into their rave years, uh, their dance years uh, before they went slightly industrial, which we're going to come to now. Is their second album, Music for the Jilted Generation, released in 1994. Uh, this album, as I said, uh, experiments a lot with uh, the industrial and dance rave um, mixture of music. This album is actually in my top five favourite albums of all time. I'm going to be completely biased and, and put this straight onto S uh, because it's legendary, absolutely legendary album, beginning with a uh, track, uh, was it Break and Enter after the intro. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, full listing, so if we get that right. And then it's their law, I believe. We'll just run through the tracks quickly. Intro, uh, Break and Enter, wonderful song. I love the glass smashing sounds on that uh, track. Their Law, I was actually listening to that today, waiting for my uh, click and collect shopping at Asda. Absolutely love Their Law. Full Throttle, I like that song a lot. Um, Voodoo People, banger, absolute banger. Speedway, brilliant song. The Heat, The Energy, it's it's all right. Um, you know, I, I, I used used to always skip it, so I could just get to the next track, Poison. 
Poison's definitely in my top five for the job songs of all time. Wonderful song. Uh, no good. Start the dance. So good. Absolutely incredible song. One love. I know a few people that don't like One Love, and now I particularly like that song. I did have it on a single. I was lucky enough to have this album um, mostly to myself because my sister had a copy and her then boyfriend had a copy too. So I used to just use one of their copies and listen to it in my room non-stop for about four or five years. I loved the album until the next album came out. Although it's probably only like three albums until the next album. So like three years till the next album come out. Sorry, a bit of ranting going on. Uh, the Narcotic Suite, Three Kilo, Skyline, The Claustrophobic Sting, wonderful, chilled out, um, good little dance bits in there as well. Uh, always worth a listen. And I absolutely love this album. And it's gone straight to S tier because it's just quality, absolute quality. So um, the next album, we've got Fat of the Land, I believe that is, from 1997. Uh, if I just quickly go into the uh, track listing on the album, another absolute, absolutely cracking album. Now, I believe on this album they were moving more, more into the industrial sound, away from the rave sound. There was a slight tinge of rave still, you know, underneath it all, but a lot of industrial sounds. Uh, Leon Howlett was on, on top form with a lot of these tracks. Um, and very controversial at the time as I was going to go over the track listing. You got Smack My Bitch Up, incredible song, incredible video, absolute classic. Breathe. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny. Breathe. I do like it, but I don't love it. I did, I think I loved it for a little while when I was uh, 14 or whatever. But there's something about Breathe that makes me not love it. I don't know what it is, but. I, I respect it. It's a it's a decent enough song, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've just had this thing with breathe that it's not in my top ten of prodigy tracks. It's it's not even top fifteen. I don't think not even twenty. Anyway, Diesel Power, love that song. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant song. Funky shit, brilliant song. Absolutely love it. Serial Thriller, great track. It's very uh, kind of rock. Um, Minefields is good. Narayan, uh, yeah, with Crispy Mills from Caller Shaker. Great song. Really like that song. And uh, number eight, Fire Starter. I, I'm going to have to put that as my favourite prodigy song of all time. It's just absolutely classic. Everyone knows Fire Starter. My daughter is actually asking me to play Fire Starter in the car whenever we get in the car now. And I've never had such a proud dad moment. <laughs> it's just the best listening to that in the car and she's loving it, singing along. And it means a lot to uh, my family as well and friends. We've got a lot of people that love The Prodigy and I've been lucky enough to go see The Prodigy a couple of times and with friends and family. And yeah, Firestarter, you can't go wrong. It's it's the, the greatest Prodigy track of all time in my eyes. Climatize, good track, uh, Fuel My Fire. Yeah, it's been a while since I've heard both Climatise or Fuel My Fire. I usually just end the album after that. But uh, no, great tracks. And I believe with this one, um, I'm wondering where to put it on the actual tier listing. It is a, it is a really good album. I think I'm going to have to put it at A. Not quite S. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it S special, like as in it's, it's just the cream of the crop. Fat of the Land's going on A. Uh, because it doesn't quite measure up to the first, first two albums for me personally. You may think otherwise. Please let me know in the comments. So, uh, fourth album, uh, let's have a scroll down here, will be, I believe that's always outnumbered, never outgunned. Uh, I think it was released in 2004 or 5. Let's have a look. 2004. Yeah, so this was full on industrial sound. This was, um, it took seven years to release this album, um, 2004 from 97's Fat of the Land. Uh, a lot of people I know do not like this album. I like quite a few tracks off this album, I've got to say. I bought the album at the time. 
Uh, it says it was, wasn't was greatly rated, like Guardian 2 out of 5, Enemy 6 out of 10. But I do have a soft spot for this album. Um, I do I do enjoy l- listening to a lot of the tracks. And uh, especially the first track, Spitfire, is an uh, absolute classic Prodigy um, industrial sound track. The great thing with the Prodigy, they were always really good opening tracks on their albums. They were just phenomenal. So Spitfire's, you know top-notch girls good song uh imagine hell it would be to me at the top make a cash money yeah i remember that that was about 2004 when it came out i think it was their first single yeah good track um memphis bows is good get up get off i like that track um a lot of people thought it was annoying um but it's got twister on it is that really fat Fast rapper, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you said you had the world record for the fastest rapper in the world. Yeah, I remember the track. And Juliet Lewis from, uh, from Juliet and the Licks, of course, like uh, featured on two of these. So get up, get off. It was, it was good. Uh, it wasn't great. Hot ride. I really like hot ride. It's a good song. Uh, wake up call. Not bad. Um, action rate again. This is such a um an industrial album and it wasn't commercially great like it wasn't received very well but there are some tracks on here i really like um medusa's past one of them uh it's a good track that uh phoenix is okay you'll be under my wheels it's been a while since i've heard these tracks to be honest um i usually finish the album around about phoenix you'll be under my wheels not too bad as from what i remember the way it is God, I'm going to have to listen to that one again. <laughs> I'll know it when I hear it. Shoot Down. It's good. Um, I like Shoot Down's... Um, I know that I don't really like Oasis, but I do like when Noel and Liam Gallagher used to uh, guest appear on uh, tracks by uh, like the Prodigy or the Chemical Brothers and other uh, bands, uh, other dance acts like Goldie. I believe uh, Noel Gallagher done a few tracks with him. And it used to be really good when he did their, um, as I say, guest, guest singing on the songs. So Shoot Down's not too bad. Uh, I don't know more girls or anything like this, but uh, yeah, wonderful. Wow. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. So I'm going to rank that at... Oh, no. See, this is a problem with ranking. I've just said 6 out of 10, which should put it around about the B. But I just want to put it in C because there's only a handful of tracks that I like. Controversial, but I'm going to put it at C. Some good tracks. Uh, Spitfire, um, Girls, a couple of the uh, singles, um, Hot Ride, good tracks. But the rest, as you can tell, I can only remember the other tracks near the bottom of the album. So, yeah, let's stick that at C. It would have been nearer the D if there wouldn't weren't any, you know, surefire tracks like uh, Spitfire and stuff like that. Okay, so next album, I believe, is 2009's Invaders Must Die. I'm sure it's 2009 it came out. Let's have a look. Yeah. Now this has, I think it's, a tr- the opening track is called Invaders Must Die, from what I remember. But we'll have a look at the uh, track this in. Yeah, there we go. Invaders Must Die. Which is a really good track. Uh, I, I like it. Omen. <laughs> it's funny, like these Omen, I'm sure, hit number one in the charts. But a lot, uh, again, with Breathe, it's one of those that I, I just think they're okay. Like they're all right. They're nothing to me, though. They don't. They're not special, like many of the Prodigy songs. They're not special to me at all. So Omen is Omen. You know, writings on the wall. It won't go away. It's an omen. It's just all right to me. Um, Thunder. I really like Thunder. It's a good track. Colours is good. Not much else to say about that. Take Me to the Hospital is a good track. Uh, it took me a while to get into that track. Uh, and then ev- eventually when uh, Keith Flint's Welcome to the Scene of the Crash kicks in. That's, that was really cool. Warriors Dance is a phenomenal song. I love that song. Uh, Run With The Wolves, I believe, had Dave Grohl on drums there. Um, doesn't say it here, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm sure you guest guest starred on that track, and it's a good track. Um, it starts really well, and then it kind of just averages out a little bit. Um, I mean, reprise. I'm not sure what that sounds like. Worlds on fire is a good song. Worlds on fire. Worlds on fire. Piranha. I need to hear Piranha again. It's been quite a while since I've heard that track, but uh, you know, I've got nothing bad to say about it. As as I, was, I would have remembered it if I had. Now, and the, like the end track, Stand Up, is a great song. It really is. It's such an uplifting song. And I think they play, They used to play it at the end of their gigs or at the beginning of their gigs, or probably the beginning of their gigs. And it's a, I think it's an old Manfred Mann song. Yeah, I'm sure it's a, it uses it samples an old Manfred Mann song. I don't know which one, and I've never looked into it, but uh, Stand Up, I really like that track. That's in my top, top 10 prodigy tracks of all time but great album really good uh so what i'm going to stick that at a along with fat of the land not special but great okay next album is i believe that is the day is my enemy i believe it is uh 2015 yep the day is my enemy Okay, so yeah, released in 2015, had singles such as Nasty, Ibiza, I think Ibiza was a song. Um, the Day Is My Enemy, I believe, was a song too. Okay, so we just go down the track list and The Day Is My Enemy, phenomenal, phenomenal track. Um, great opening track for this album. Again, they're sticking with, a, a lot with the, the mix, mix of industrial and dance on this album. And I think The Day Is My Enemy is a, like, just feels like a punch to the gut when you hear that song when it kicks in it's just fun just brilliant nasty's good um yeah just good not not great for me nasty triple x rated nasty nasty it's a decent enough track rebel radio not a big fan of that um i don't know what it is but yeah just not a fan ibiza took me a few listens to get into then i started liking it the more i heard it Destroy is a good track. Uh, Wild Frontier was just okay for me. Um, Rockweiler, oh, you know what? I need to hear that again. Rhythm Bomb's good. Oh, sorry, Beyond Beyond the Death Rate, I didn't mention. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Rhythm Bomb is good. I like Rhythm Bomb. Roadblocks, it's just all right. You know, uh, get your fight on. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like that song. I don't know what it is, but I've not said that a lot about these pro the Prodigy tracks um, so far, but it's just something about that song that I just skip straight away when it comes on. Uh, Medicine, it's all right. Uh, Invisible Sun's good, but Wall of Death, track 14, I love it. I love this song so much. Uh, yeah, um, Wall of Death, it's it's got a fantastic chorus and Keith Flint's vocals on it is brilliant. So um, yeah, good album. Uh, not 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 outstanding. Mm, where are gonna put this? Let's just want one more look at the tracks. You know what? Let's stick it in B. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite interesting doing this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go over the last album, which I believe is No Tourists. I, I think it's from 2018. Yeah, No Tourists. It's not a bad album. Um, it was great to hear some new Prodigy music. And it does feel like they have definitely stuck with the same formula since... Since they, they it sounds like they've... Um, it's hard to explain um, their industrial dance sound. It's, uh, it's very prodigy. It's like that they haven't moved much from where they were with uh, Invaders Must Die and and uh, certain uh, tracks on both uh, Always That Number of Never Outgunned and uh, the previous album Day Is My Enemy. It's just that prodigy sound and it's not very fresh. But there are some good tracks on it. Uh, Need Someone is all right. Light Up the Sky is a fantastic track. I really like that song. We Live Forever 
is is good. Uh, no tourists. It's good good track actually. Um, it's been a while since I've heard this album. I listened to it quite a lot when it first came out, uh, and at the beginning of 2019 as well. But I need to give this album another listen. Fight fire with fire. It's it's okay. Time Bomb Zone is very good. I like Time Bomb Zone a lot. Champions of London. I'm going to have to go back to that song. I just don't remember what it sounds like. Boom Boom Tap. I remember being good. Resonate. Yeah, actually, Resonate's not too bad. I don't remember the the uh, the finishing track off that album. Give me a signal. So, sorry, I don't remember a, a couple of tracks on here. I will give it another listen. It's just that my... Um, my listening habits have now moved. Let's get rid of that. You know, so from back in the day when uh, let's, I'm going to rank that at C, I think. Um, it may go up if I listen to it again, and I think actually it's not too bad. But I think that's a fair estimate, like a, a fair judgment of the Prodigy's albums. Um, I, know, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Then I was going to say something else, wasn't I? Uh, yes. So the listening habits. So in the beginning, you had the experience, fat, um, music for the job generation, fat the land, um, always outnumbered, never outgunned, in the Vaders must die. I had all of them on CD, and the days my enemy, no tourists. I've just streamed and heard off off the internet. So not having that physical CD to listen to in either the car or at home, you don't get to listen. You don't really listen to it like you would if you had the physical copy. You can have it streaming somewhere, but you'd have to, you have to actually go out your way to listen to it. You know, ask, you know, Alex or whatever. And yeah, it's it's just different nowadays uh, from when it was um, physical CD. Yes, you can buy CD still, but I never do. I do all my listening online. So yes, I I found that really really uh, fun actually uh, ranking these albums. The Prodigy mean loads and loads to me uh, I was devastated when Keith Flint passed away last year and I do still hold the prodigy you know very close I listen to them a lot still a lot uh, either in the car or at home as I was saying earlier my daughter loves listening to Firestarter playing some of the tracks to her such as oh, what was I playing to her the other day uh, Voodoo People she likes and I was getting oh Charlie Charlie as well um, she really likes the chorus in that so Yes, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So, so lovely to uh, you know talk about the prodigy. So I hope um, let me know in the comments if you think any differently to the ranking of these albums. Um, if you prefer, say, like Fat the Land or something to you know Joke Generation, you'd be wrong. No, I'm only joking. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're a prodigy fan and what you would do any different. Uh, so yes, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe because I'm going to do a lot of these uh, tier lists. I'm going to do some video games next and probably one or two of the music artists. So thank you very much for watching and I'm going to make sure I press the stop button so I don't have to edit this video and I can just upload it without editing it. It usually takes ages. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.